Welcome to March PRS. This month, we're gonna take a look at two new exciting trends in cosmetic plastic surgery, buttock augmentation and vaginal rejuvenation. Over the past several decades, we have seen a rise in the popularity of both shapely buttocks and an increased demand globally for glu gluteoplasties or buttock augmentations. Researchers in this month's issue of PRS wanted to know how one gluteoplasty technique, which is a silicone implant placed directly and embedded into the gluteus maxis muscle, affects the functionality of the buttock muscles themselves. The team from Brazil evaluated 22 female gluteal implant patients for a year following surgery. Using muscle strength tests, CT exams, and clinical nutritional assessments. They discovered that the gluteus maximus muscle can have some atrophy or degeneration for up to 12 months following this procedure. But the atrophy is typically reversed once these patients resume their regular exercise activity three months after surgery. Makes sense. This group plans to continue their research into this gluteal augmentation technique to study the effects of nerve sensation and quality of life, sexual function, and patient satisfaction. The next procedure we'll look at today is vaginal rejuvenation, which has increased in popularity over the past five years. Labioplasty, the surgical reduction or enlargement of, of the labia minora to manage functional and cosmetic issues, has been performed in over 5,000 patients in 2012, marking a 44% increase from 2011. In this month's PRS, a paper details the rise in, in the labioplasty techniques. However, there's no universal language to describe and classify the techniques that have been used. To rectify this problem, the authors propose that all plastic surgeons use a simplified classification system that's based upon the anatomy and they note that further randomized studies using a standard classification system is indeed needed to better compare the different types of techniques and modalities and to establish the best practices for our patients. As this technique continues to grow in popularity, plastic surgeons are hard at work to make sure that these procedures are safe and are effective and that the patient's experience is optimal. For more information on these new and innovative techniques and technology, I strongly encourage you to visit plasticsurgery.org and start a conversation with a local board certified plastic surgeon who has expertise and experience in these new and evolving areas of plastic and reconstructive surgery. Subscribe to PRS channel and visit prsjournal.com for the latest news on buttock augmentation and vaginal rejuvenation and other innovative techniques and technology in plastic surgery.